Hey guys! Welcome to my first YouTube video. I officially moved on from IGTV and am now doing videos here. This is super exciting because I love YouTube and it's a bigger platform, more people can watch. So it's been a big upgrade and I'm excited to start YouTube. Finally, it has been way too long, but I am finally here. So for my first video, I'm going to be doing a Q&A from questions off my Instagram. At the end, I'm going to be talking about why I decided to start YouTube and stuff like that. So if you are new, which most of you are, make sure you like this video and subscribe and turn on your notifications so you can see when I post next. And let's just get straight into the video. The first question is, what are you going to name your kids? I don't actually have names planned out yet. I just know that they're going to be different. My name, it's not too common. And at the same time, it's spelled differently. So I'm probably going to name it it. I'm going to name them something that's not so common. Have you ever stole anything? Story time! So, I think I was maybe five or six and I was at Sears with my mother. I saw a necklace I really wanted and I can still remember it. It was like this. It was pink. It was kind of translucent. It had the jewels, whatever. Mom, we gotta get this necklace. No, it's too expensive. No, 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 no. You already got this. Mm. All that parent junk, whatever. So I walked away and then I thought, hmm, I'm gonna give myself this little five finger discount and just, you know, slipped it in my pocket. Being the smart kid I was, I wore it to school the next day. And my mom was just like, hmm, hmm. Where did you get that? And I'm just like, I don't know. I think I found it somewhere. You already know I got beat and in big trouble. And I had to bring it back to the Sears and I had to apologize. Who was the last person you texted? The last person I texted was my mother. I know, I'm super cool. I had to make dinner today and she sent me the recipe. I actually did a pretty good job. The food turned out amazing. The It was just great. delicious, right? Tell me you wouldn't want to eat that. Tell me you would not want to eat that. If you had to change your name, what would it be? When will I have to change my name? If I had to, had to, had to, you know, I don't want to change my name, but maybe I just make my first name my middle name. My middle name is Mahalia. Have you gotten into any fights? Yes, a lot of verbal fights, physical fights, like play fights, of course, but no actual real physical fight. Do you have a special talent? Hmm, let's see. Can I touch my tongue with my, no? Can I touch? Yeah. Uh, not, can't do that. Ooh. No, I don't have a talent. No. Which of the five senses would you get rid of if you absolutely had to? I'd probably say smell. Because most of the time you don't need to be smelling anything, like unless it's my food. But like most of the smells that go up in here are not very good. I, I need the other ones. Taste. How am I going to taste my food? Hearing. How am, how am I going to hear all the negative things that people have to say? Like I need those negative comments. Seeing. I gotta see the food. I have to see the food. Yeah, no, that's all I have to say. I don't even remember what the other sense is, but definitely smell. Who is your role model? Um, there's not anyone specifically I look up to. All the YouTubers that I watch, I guess you could say they're role models because they're what inspired me to start making a YouTube channel. I watch a lot of vlog channels, so they're kind of my inspiration. Do you believe in ghosts? I believe in ghost followers. So I believe that is all the questions. There weren't that many just because I posted this on my spam, but I am finally gonna get down to the most asked questions um, that weren't on my spam, but people have asked me. Before this channel started, I was on IGTV and I was just posting 10 minute vlogs. Someone asked me why I don't post them on my main account. I did not post them on my main account just because they were for fun. I wasn't know if I was going to be serious with it or not. So I was like, hmm, let me just showcase it to my close friends. And maybe one day I will upload them to my main. But for now, I'm going to be just sticking with YouTube and maybe some IGTV videos periodically. 
but nothing on my main yet. So finally, drum roll, please. The reason why I started YouTube. I realized I have been an active viewer of YouTube for quite a while. I've been watching YouTube for, I can't even remember when, but I used to watch so much YouTube. I watched so many different types of videos and since I was 10 years old, I've had like 14 Instagram accounts, which is kind of crazy. I used to have an EOS lip balm fan page. I used to have a friends fan page. You know the show The Next Step? I used to have a fan page for that. I had a photography account, my spam account, my main account, and I've just had so many accounts. Figured I'm someone who likes to showcase myself online. So like photography was something that I really like to do. So I had an account just for that. And then my spam was just for like joke memes about me and stuff like that. So I figured maybe if I put it on YouTube, I can kind of figure out, you know, where where do I belong in this YouTube space? You know, what kind of content I want to create? I feel like starting this YouTube kind of helped me figure out, hmm, what's my content stream? Am I a creator? Maybe I don't like YouTube. So just trying to figure out, you know, where I belong. You understand? I also started YouTube just because I love video editing. One of my courses was contact and Editing videos was something I was really passionate about. I put a lot of editing and effort into my projects and my mark reflected that. So I figured, hey, maybe this summer I can do that and see, hey, do I want to do this post-secondary? The main reason why I started YouTube is to showcase myself and do more video editing and share it with people. Why have like a talent or something you're passionate about and not share it with everybody else? And I've had a lot of friends, close friends that are saying, hey, you know, you should do this. You should start that. You should post often. You should post this. And I figure with all this praise I'm getting with my close friends, it can spread to the world. People around me have been super supportive. They're just like, yes, you need to post this. When I was doubting, I'm like, hmm, I don't know if I should continue. You know who you are. Those people who have been pushing me to continue this and have pushed me to make a YouTube. They know who they are and they the exact reason I am here is because of them. You're the reason why I'm here and I hope I can spread this channel far. I'm not on YouTube to make money. If this YouTube ever gets big, that is a plus, but that's not why I started YouTube. Making money on YouTube is not easy in the beginning and it's not a lot of money either. So Honestly, YouTube is just a place for me to express myself and show everybody else. Yeah, I think that is everything. Thank you guys so, so, so much for watching my first YouTube video. I'm super excited to make some more videos. Comment some ideas that I can do below so I can add to my full list of stuff that I want to post on this channel make sure you like and subscribe because it'll just push me to make more videos for you guys if you enjoyed it and yeah thank you guys again so much and i will see you in my next video